Okay, welcome back to PC TV. Now in this segment, we're gonna talk about voice over IP or VoIP. Yeah. yeah, VoIP. Let's actually define what VoIP is. So voice over and then IP is internet protocol. Internet protocol, that's right. So uh, traditionally, uh, we've had our telephony delivered over copper wire, yep. right? And it's been audio only, and that's how the early modems worked and all of that sort of thing. Now um, we can do telephone calls over the internet, as we know through things like Skype, and that uses a, a technology called VoIP, which is voice over internet protocol. So we're just essentially turning um, sound into highly compressed um, packets and sending it across and using our same data connections that, uh, that we use to connect to the rest of the internet. And video content as well. Yeah, it makes things like video conferencing easy. Um, uh, you know, collaboration applications and stuff like that. I don't know that lots of um, call centers are using VoIP um, telephony as well, rather than the traditional uh, POST. Well, even um, uh, just offices, open plan or activity-based offices that are done today use uh, VoIP phones because uh, it's flexible. So when you sit down to a VoIP phone, you can log in and you know, you can pick any phone to log into. You don't have to actually unplug something and put it in somewhere else. Your, your number can follow you around. That's right. And then also I know that a lot of um, application software is connected up to your VoIP. So when you take a call from a potential customer, you can go directly into their software suite and um, utilize stuff in real time yeah. as it's happening. Gives you advanced queuing features yeah. and uh, informational voice recordings. And you can do all of that. Yeah. yeah. So VoIP's been around for a long time. It's about the mid 90s. Mid 90s, they standardized the uh, entire um, activity for VoIP communications, mm. which is good. That's right. And it's probably worth noting now that um, the phone you'll get with your NBN is a VoIP phone. Oh, that's right. They're getting rid of the copper wire phones so you, altogether. Yeah, they call them TDM, it was the old thing. Yeah, they're getting rid of that. And so even though it looks and acts just like your old phone, um, it is actually a VoIP phone and it's using a data connection. Rather than the copper line. That's right. Yeah. Well, and that's the other thing as well. You'll notice, I mean, the best real world example, of course, is Skype. And if you've got WhatsApp, which is an, a phone application for your smartphone, that's another one that uses voice over IP with mm -hmm. video as well. So you can talk to people. If you've got an unlimited um, data with your ISP, then this is a fantastic solution because it gives you video conferencing abilities without any sort of cost requirements that the way that you would have if you had uh, just a phone line. Obviously, your STG phone calls to overseas are very, very expensive depending on how long you're um, making the call. Whereas a voice over IP call, if you've got unlimited data, you can talk all day and all night and it's still basically, you know, it doesn't matter dollar. where you are in the world either. Yeah. And that's correct. That's right. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. So voice over IP, it's one of those Jetson technologies that has finally come and made it into our world. God, there's so many technologies that we're sitting there going, God, oh, when are we going to get this? Well, VoIP is one that we're just pleased to have. Yeah, and I guess, I mean, we covered this a little while ago, but we're, we're covering it again now because it's not an alternative to telecommunications anymore. It's the primary. Yeah. So everyone's phones are really going to be this. Yeah, that's the standard. The new standard and a good new standard. So we like it. Um, there is a couple of security concerns, but not Well, really. there are. Whenever you share... Um, carriage of data, which now you're doing, it's not dedicated anymore, then you're quite right, there's security uh, implications there and you have to do more to harden the system so that you can't eavesdrop on calls and so forth, but that's all there. It's, it's a, yeah, a long-standing technology. Well, I know that WhatsApp, for example, um, a lot of the uh, world security firms are really, really angry with them because they have end-to-end -end encryption on all of their um, communications. and. A lot of governments specifically want uh, WhatsApp to be able to give them a back door so that they can break their encryption because they're afraid of security concerns. Yeah, that's that whole debate now about whether, you know, governments should be weakening encryption so that they can access stuff. Like there's very strong arguments both ways. Well, it kills the point one. of encryption in my opinion. I personally think that we shouldn't be handing around back doors because yeah. no one can keep them secret. That's right. right? And mean, we've had precedents of this where you know, backdoors were there, uh, created just in case we needed to look into criminals. And however, the backdoors themselves got leaked yep. and then were used by nefarious characters to do all sorts of stuff. Yeah, see, so this is the thing. If you hand someone the keys and those people are criminals, then giving them the keys to the kingdom is probably not a good idea. No. So best not make that particular skeleton key in the first place. <laughs> that's right. VoIP. Well, that's what we just had a bit of a segment about VoIP and that's what it is. And hopefully you'll understand now when you're using this technology, 
uh, a little bit more about what it's about. Yeah. Any questions? Let us know. Thanks.